Um, when it when it first came out, it initially released on PC. Oh, this is gonna be a talkie quest. And and when it came out on PC, it was to lackluster reviews. People didn't really like it too much. It had um, it had a subscription fee. People weren't happy, and then about a year later, it finally released. Like I, w I wasn't letting that I wasn't letting that dishearten me. Um, I was like, ah, oh, well, I, I still want to try it for myself. You know, MMOs don't, you know, review very well. So yeah, I wasn't letting that dissuade me. They don't review real well, so I still wanted to give it a chance. So when it uh, I got it the the midnight it released. I was super hype. So I thought it was I thought it was pretty uh, I thought it was pretty great when it came out. I initially played like I was showing in the beginning of, of the video, I think. I might end up cutting that part because I fucked up <laughs> at first. Um, I initially played as a dragon knight, a Dunmer dragon knight. But normally, normally I play as a damage dealer, and I kind of, I kind of built him as a tank, but then ended up making him like a hybrid, so I could just solo through the, the uh, PVE. Content. Holy shit, what is happening? Oh god. Oh shit! <laughs> Hail Sithis! Hail! So, when I got to veteran rank... Um, ooh, Nernroot. When I got to veteran rank, I just... Uh, I didn't really know... Ah, oh, shitty. I didn't really know what to do. Um, you can hear the slight. That's a nice little touch. I don't know if that picks up in the video. You can hear like the magic emanating from the from the uh, Nern root, which is. Uh, how it was in Oblivion. If you remember in Oblivion, there was this uh, quest series where you had to collect like 30 Nern root, and it was real, real hard to find. You just had to basically stumble across it. What the hell is this thing? Oh, Wamasu. Man, I haven't seen one of these since my other character. But anyways, I'm getting too sidetracked. For whatever reason, I try to look at how long this video is. For whatever reason, I stopped playing as my Dragon Knight once I reached veteran rank. Don't fucking kill my pet. So, I don't know. I just got tired of it. Didn't want to play Elder Scrolls Online anymore. Oh, whoa. But here I am now again. So what I'm doing on this character, I'm trying to make a decent solo sorcerer. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to hit veteran rank before I do any of the major storyline quests. So, in my journal, I've still got the very first uh, main story quest. I've got this one, which since it's DLC, I'm guessing it works the same as the other main story quests. And I'm a member of the guilds. And I haven't done any of those quests. The guild ones actually let you abandon them. So those aren't in my quest book. But yeah, I'm going to get to veteran rank 
before I even start doing any of those quests because unlike these quests it's just the the regular bullshit quests these don't scale to your level so like this very first quest it's level 21 because I'm level 21 so I've got this idea that I'm gonna get up the veteran ranks like I'm just full-on soloing this whole game and seeing you know how it goes down the fuck is this the fuck is happening is that my pet no it's not oh it's part of the quest I'm retarded um now, as far as strategies go, so the way I've been doing this, and the way you should play this game, is that, let me go to the starting point. So here's the starting map. Uh, this is the major city, this is where your character begins when you first start the game. So what I do, I just do this PvE content Basically, I go across the map. So the map starts out blank, and all this shit isn't here. So basically, started out in the city, did all the quests in the city, and you can see it turns white, and it says you failed an assassination attempt on the queen. So from here, I basically went up this way, went across, went across this way, up across this way and just went to each city and completed every quest in that city until I made my way all the way to the top and did this one and then once you finish this final one up here you know you get some achievements and then they send you back to Skywatch and from Skywatch you take a boat over to here Grotwood and so here you can see I'm doing the same thing. So you arrive in this boat here. And you start out in this city, Haven. And now basically I'm going across the map. And then I'll go up here, go here, go up here, up here. And then I'll finish out this entire map. So basically somewhere like this. You can see that the roads lead to it. It's a major point. So basically, you're just going to come in here, and once you're within the proximity, you'll see all the quests that are available here. And eventually, you'll get a symbol. You know, when you discover it on your map, a symbol comes up, and it's black. And then, like here. See the gray mire, how it's a black symbol? Investigate the Argodian tribes. Once you finish all these quests, it'll turn white, it's completed, and then I can continue on to here and that's what I'm gonna keep doing all the way across the map until I reach veteran rank and then once I've reached veteran rank then I am going to start doing the guild content and I'll see you know maybe I'll talk about the sorcerer class maybe I'll talk about what it's like using this strategy because it seems fairly unique I don't know if anyone else who has done this basically everyone does the guild quests as they level through the content so I'm gonna try this out seems unique seems fun seems interesting and maybe I can ascend the veteran ranks without having to you know rely upon grouping with randos and leveling up at veteran ranks that way now i suppose let me just talk a little bit about the state of the game now a decent amount of people are still oh there we fucking go a decent amount of people are still playing this game there's his little buddy i got like a whole squad whole squads here got reptar down there my two summon daedra comes when called Anyways, 
It's not like when the game first launched on consoles and like every quest I went to, there'd literally be like a line of like six people going from objective to objective. Like you'd see a line of people heading their way from an enemy you have to kill back to the person you have to talk to. It was crazy. Um, what's up, Comes and Cold? There's, however, there's still a decent amount of, like, there's been some quests I go to, there'll be like, th there'll be like three other people doing the same quest. It's crazy. Sorry, let me just kill these fuck boys. Uh-oh. Oh shit, Aelit's getting in on it. What's up? You want some? You don't want none. Um, oh, Linen Shoes of Magicka. Those could be good. Now, the thing is, finding groups, however, is kind of another story. Um, that's better. Uh, so they have this activity finder, right? You go down here, you can choose to do a dungeon or find people to do the PvP with. Though they have this cool thing, random dungeons. I did this for the first time the other day. 16,000 XP and you get some, some nice little loot there with the exploration su supplies. That 16,000 XP leveled me up two levels. It was crazy. I went from level 18 to level 20. The thing is, both of the groups I was able to get into, they had veteran rank people in the group. It made no fucking sense. So, you know, I was hoping it would be just a normal group with some, like, level 18 to 20s, like myself. But I get into both... Both these groups are doing it. They have a, a, a veteran rank dude, like fucking veteran rank 14. Like this guy, veteran rank 16. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> like this guy, just standing here. This fucking guy. And because of that, all the enemies were veteran ranked. Oh, there's another one here too. So this dude was bait. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to say he was, like, power leveling us, because he was in the group. So I was getting, you know, like, 50 XP a kill. It was not great. It was not the best. But when I, uh, when I got that bonus from doing the, the the random dungeon bonus man was it worth it hitting two levels whoo anyways yeah both these groups were doing this i can't seem to be able to find a group my level that doesn't have some veteran rank guy just running them through the dungeon and it's like why why do we need this you know what i mean we had like a sorcerer, a templar, and uh, a dragon knight in the group. Like, if we had kicked out the, uh, if we had kicked out the veteran rank guy, we could have been running the dungeon on our own and getting way better XP. But you know, if that if that changes, hopefully I can find some. Ooh. What's up, fuckboy? Hopefully I can find some people my level who just want to play the game like normal people. So, uh-oh, get out of that. Heal me. We'll see, maybe I'll make an update video. Maybe I'll do a video after this. I'll try and uh, find a group so I can get that sweet, sweet... Uh, 16k XP bonus. But, uh, yeah. That's, uh, a long, terrible video about what I'm doing 
in the Elder Scrolls. So maybe I'll make some videos, some super heavily edited videos, because this is just boring to watch. You know, unless I'm talking about something like this, I don't know. Either way, it's still boring to watch. I think I said everything I wanted to say about the Elder Scrolls Online in as coherent a manner. Oh my god, the video's 31 minutes long. Good lord. Well, let me just finish. <laughs> let me just finish this quest. So, maybe I'll post some new videos with this content. No, it's all the way up there. Fuck it. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you when I see you.